seven, we've been working on an expedition called Small Acts of Courage. This expedition focused on the civil rights movement in the United States and the local community members whose small acts needed to be captured for all to read. This is a great expedition for a number of reasons, but it has strong content, it has a strong process and strong product. The content is compelling, it's important, kids need to know about this time period. Clearly the focus was a complex piece of writing, so they had to take a story that was given to them with evidence and turn it into a narrative. The process in terms of interviewing someone and integrating that with their own research about that particular time period or that particular event is really important. We learned a little bit about the event, uh, what our person was going to, uh, to be talking about. So uh, for Joy and I, our person went to the March on Washington and we needed to learn a lot about that so we could have a good background to ask questions based on that. Joy and I interviewed Christina Minister. We didn't know exactly what happened until we met her. It really helped to like interview her. What was challenging was um, to go back to interview Every time you get something wrong, we always have to go back to it. After we had like, we had our story done and we had like most of the information done we got from the interview, we kind of like send it to the interviewee. And the process of giving their writing to the person they are writing about and asking for feedback is incredible. We had a group of kids who were like a team of editors. Right. So as we right. finished the product, they took the uh, stories and they were the final editors. We had a team that collected and scanned all the artwork that went to them, the book creation team. We had a team of kids who created the index. That just goes to show on how much work goes into an expedition or like how much control kids have on actually producing the final products and how amazing that it actually comes out. The fact that it's real, the fact that it has to please the person that they interviewed and really tell that story accurately, the fact that it goes into a book with their peers and is given to a museum and, and, and a library collection helps to make the work real for kids. They were presenting something at that point that they, they owned. owned. They really yeah. owned that person's story and they were ready to, to proudly share that. Ida Marie Gammon Wilson's Small Acts of Courage contributed greatly to the civil rights movement. Everybody's fans are proud of, of the work we've done. So it was an amazing moment. I think that a lot of kids felt like I didn't think I could do this at the beginning and I did it. Everybody wrote their story, everybody got up on stage. Honestly, the kids practically did everything, and I think that's one of the best part about the expedition. We really got to make a personal connection with the people who we were interviewing, and we really got to hear about their lives and really understand what they had, had to go through. You know, it is really wonderful to find that something small that you did um, has an impact on the next generation. They brought history to life and they and suddenly they realized that history impacts people. Events impact people and people impact events in history. This kind of presentation by these young people I think would be just an absolute wonderful experience for everybody to have because we are making some strides in this nation.